economic equality. For me, economic equality is the ability to create for yourself the life that you want. Not the life that the society expects of you, or the life that your greed might suggest, but the life that you crave through self-knowledge and awareness, hunger for purpose, and a desire to reach your full potential. We can only serve society and others if we're empowered to do so. One way to achieve economic equality is through equality of opportunity. Ensuring that everyone has a chance, seeing every single being as an asset to the world that should not be wasted. Ubuntu means I am because you are. The fact, in fact, the word Ubuntu is just part of the Zulu phrase, which literally means that a person is a person through other people. Ubuntu has its roots in humanistic African philosophy, where the idea of community is one of the building blocks of society. We have to reach a level of awareness where every single person is viewed as an important member of society that is waiting to be explored. Economic equality ensures that time, which is our most valuable asset, is utilized completely. Economic equality is freedom. Freedom to be, to live, to grow, to create. To be, I believe that when economic equality is achieved, all other forms of discrimination would be minimized. The poverty I see in our society today is frightening and can be best described as a dire situation. No one should be allowed to live under such conditions. It is the little things that make life decent and worthwhile. Hence, one should not be rich to afford a decent life, nourishing food, conducive shelter, clean sheets to sleep on, and warm clothing. Well, interesting perspective, Kato. I would like to say I've always had the notion that clearly that economic opportunity or equality can only be brought about when you, you as a nation understand your full potential. So the problem with a country like Nigeria is, okay, we have 5.4% of the world's entire natural resources. We have um, the sixth most populous nation in the world. And we've never utilized any of that to get anywhere. Yes. Just look at the kind of, let's say, the average phones. Nigeria is probably the high, of course, the most valuable phone used in the world. Nigeria is the highest buyer in Africa. Yes. Why don't we have a manufacturing company here? Which means we don't even think of ourselves. Until we get to that kind of point, yes. I don't think we'll be able to go anywhere. Abdul. Just to answer you before I... Abdul chips in. You're absolutely right. It can't, it has to, if we can't build a country, we can't build, we can't achieve economic equality. And uh, um, this is just, a, I'm, I, I'm hoping that this topic will be just yet another motivation to start, to start to think about building a nation that really serves us and for our own benefit. I mean, to me, um, your topic basically just ask me one question, economic um, freedom. If we, right now, Nigeria is just surviving. Yes. We, we've not reached that stage where we, we can, to me, basically, where we can say we can, we can do more than survive. We need, we need policy, we need um, infrastructure, not just infrastructure as in physical infrastructure, mm -hmm. inf infrastructure as in, give businesses, businesses is, is what's going to lift people up. Mm -hmm. Businesses is what's going to make, give the people the freedom because not everybody can get that job in government. Not everybody has the opportunity to get that job in business. So until we can, we can make, give the businesses, the small, medium and big businesses, the opportunity to thrive to, um, to, um, to the highest level, yes. we will not get to that stage. So we need a government that will put businesses first, make, give um, businesses a, a, a fair playing ground where everybody can compete. I know that if anything goes wrong, there's law, there's regulation mm. to, to judge people and to, um, to, to do the right thing. With, without that, we cannot get that individual economic freedom yes. and stability and enhancement that we want and we need. 
Exactly. In my view. I would, I would really like to hear what Comfort weighed in and, and say about this. Comfort. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually frustrated at this point. If we're talking about economic equality, I can't even get the damn network to stay stable, for God's sake, just to, <laughs> to do this. This is just one of the many, the small things. It, it, it's so pedestrian in other countries that it's frustrating in my own country. I can't even have it just, as, you know, I'm ready to pay for the data. And then we're talking, you know, and we, we, we're talking about the econo uh, economic equality. How will that happen if the people were putting in the places that they should do take and make policies for us that will help us are selfish? They're not ready to do it. They are robbing the system. They are raping the system. And then we too are not holding them accountable. I'm just going to give a small example of what I mean. I just came back from Port Harcourt and I followed what they call the East Western Road or East West Road for Mm -hmm. crying out loud this is the major road that connects and moves our the what you call it um, goods and services including the fuel it's a federal road it hasn't been done why because of politics politics of even the people who are there why are those people why why what happened to the citizenry of those areas that they've allowed the same people who are holding that road and that place to ransom why are they still in government why and as long as we it's still we for me oh, because these people don't, are not from, from the pit of hell. They're from among us here in our communities. As long as we still keep them there, year in, year out, which economic equality? Which one? Which, which, which one are we struggling for? When me and you, are, all we're trying to do is to survive at, the rate, at this rate. If I'm trying to survive, I'm not really going to be sitting down to be thinking about my neighbor. I'm sorry at this point because I just want to survive. The same is the same environment that I'm in that you two you are you're in. So if I'm not surviving, I'm barely surviving. How do you want me to take the small survival I have to help your own survival? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Kito, you are on your own. This advocates you. Well, it's, it's exactly the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly man, same thing. Yeah, comfort. You took this. You took this power. You are becoming a zoom head zoomer. <laughs> yeah. I, I, just to add to what Comfort said, I mean, the topic is really to stir us to us realizing that we have one shot at life and it's an emergency. It is your life and we have to live it and not survive it. We're here to thrive and not to survive. And if we're surviving, then we're doing something wrong. And we should realize that for everyone, not just the privileged few, but for everyone. Everyone has a right to thrive so we spend too much time surviving yes and we haven't we haven't left that stage yet exactly and your comfort is right about one thing it's the same people that keeps on putting us in that survival stage yes. they're still there 10 mm -hmm. years later exactly and now as she's well said um, election is soon mm -hmm. are we get, are we not gonna elect the, the same, same people group? who have done nothing no, no, no. I think we need to correct something. In Nigeria, we don't have an election. We have a selection. Selection. So, so yes. Yeah, so, they just, they just present uh, the devil and the blue sea, and you must make a choice. And this is because we are not part of political parties, or we are not doing anything. So, what happens is we just, we just go roll with the wind. But, and, but with the selection you said, we also have to also tell the people, the selection does not stop at Asso Rock. No, 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 the point I'm making is that because we do not participate in political parties, mm. that is why it's a selection. Like if you go to other advanced countries or even countries that are behind us, people are part of political parties, they help the candidates emerge from primaries. A Nigerian knows what's going on in an American primaries, but cannot Better tell you what's, what's going, going on in Nigerian in primaries. Country. That's where the problem how is. Many people, how many people know who, who the local government chairman is? <laughs> that, that, you're asking mathematics. You don't even know what word they're in. <laughs> so up next is comfort stay with us